This guy and others getting out on the White River for the first time this season may notice something new as they approach the Lowhead Dams in Broad Ripple. Or maybe not. By the time you see this sign, you're already in trouble. But it, it's the first step. Bruce DeWitt, whose property overlooks the Williams Creek Dam, is talking about these new warning signs Citizens Energy has installed above and below the dams it owns. The signs were prompted by a series of water rescues last summer after a stretch of heavy rain made the river dangerously high and very hard to navigate, especially for kayakers. One kayaker who went over the dam died after getting caught in the churning waters. Well, when I went over the dam... Just the day before, DeWitt also went over after his pontoon broke loose. And five times the uh, current drug me back, sucked me under, and the fifth time I just closed my eyes. And I, I gave up. But I woke up on the bank. So I was very lucky. He points out while these signs are small, Citizens does plan to put in much larger ones and further upstream of the dams. So if they see a sign, uh, they might stay away from something rather than to think, hey, I can go in there and I can have some fun with my kayak. Jim Sprandell, a kayaking instructor, agrees anything to warn people of the dams in advance is a good idea. You just don't want to mess with them. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly experienced, I keep away. But here at Rusted Moon Outfitters? People who, who choose to go over the, uh, hey, watch this mentality and do things, um, I don't know how deterred by signage they will be. Ron Lewis says it'd be far better if people got to know their kayak, how to use it, and what the conditions are before hitting the water. Look before you leap, exercise just a little common sense and prudence. I'm told the new signs should go up later this summer. They'll be three feet high, three feet wide, and unlike this one, they'll actually extend over the river and be further upstream. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.